Hi, I'm Carolyn Collins Peterson. Welcome to the Astronomer's Universe, where we take a close look at what professional astronomers are observing and what they're learning. In April 2009, the Hubble Space Telescope focused on a tiny part of the sky in the constellation Ursa Major, the Greater Bear. It zoomed in on a group of galaxies called ARP-194. They lie about 600 million light years away from Earth. Now the interesting thing about this scene is that we're seeing a snapshot of galaxies interacting with each other. When they do this, their immense gravitational attraction distorts their shapes. It often pulls out streams of gas and dust and also causes massive bursts of star formation. In Hubble's image, the top two galaxies are actually taking part in a cosmic dance millions of years long. It will completely change how these galaxies look. The bright blue areas are clusters of hot young stars that formed in the wake of the collision. The most striking looking of these clusters lie in the stream of material that looks something like a fountain flowing between the merging pair of galaxies and their neighbor below them. Galaxy collision is one of the most fascinating topics in astronomy today. Recent research using a number of ground-based and space-based observatories suggests that the first galaxy-like objects formed only about a half billion years after the Big Bang. They were starting to look more like galaxies by about a billion years after the Big Bang. Over time, smaller dwarf galaxies merged to form larger objects. This is how the Milky Way and other galaxies evolved to the beautiful shapes we see today. If you follow this hierarchical model of galaxy formation to its logical conclusion, the largest, most massive elliptical galaxies could have gone through many mergers over the course of cosmic history. The Milky Way is still acquiring stars from nearby dwarf galaxies, and it faces a merger with the Andromeda Galaxy in the future. One computer model shows a time-lapse view of how the Milky Way will change when it meets up with Andromeda in three billion years. We watch as the two galaxies intersect. The Sun gets flung out, away from the action. Then it takes a wild ride through the galactic bulge and out again, following a complex orbit. The cores of the two galaxies will meet and draw apart several times over the course of a billion years. Each encounter will fling stars and clouds of gas and dust through space, and the shapes of the two galaxies will twist and change. Finally, the Milky Way and Andromeda will draw together one last time to form a massive elliptical galaxy. What will happen to the Milky Way and Andromeda is typical of merger scenarios that play out across the universe. Snapshots of collisions throughout the history of the cosmos show us that these interactions are major influences that have shaped galaxies into the different forms we see today. There's still much to learn about the evolution of galaxies through their majestic mergers and acquisitions, and astronomers will continue to study these cosmic dances using all of the observatory tools they have at their disposal. For the Astronomer's Universe, I'm Carolyn Collins-Peterson, astrocast.tv.